Hello crafters, welcome to today's video and welcome to G's Creations. Many of you saw a post that I posted on Facebook showing this picture. And I really liked it because my sister is mad on anything Parisian. Um, so I thought I looked enough and an odd and then I looked at the price and they were like nine, ten pound for us, you know, just a small glass bottle. And I thought, you know what, I can make these. And then I went into the, my local pound shop and they had these bottles. Now these bottles were already decorated in this blue and the grey and it's kind of textured. I don't quite know what it is, but this paint effect is easily replicated as I have done on this one here. Now these are also from my local pound shop. So you can buy them from your pound shops like this, or you can just buy a glass bottle or a glass vase and use the techniques I'll show you today. So this is another one that I did. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off these labels and I will um, give it a wipe over with some alcoholic um, wipes. Okay, now that that's all wiped over, I'll take this one off the bottom if you want to. The next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to stipple, and I say stipple because or, or dab, because I like the texture that the dabbing gives, and this has texture on it. So I'm going to get, I think what they've done with that one, they've painted it, but they must have put some sort of sand or something in it, because it's kind of, um, kind of gravelly, kind of, um, it's rough in places, so I think they must have put some some sand or something in there so I'm using my lid just to dab it off and giving it this dabbing motion helps the light to penetrate to penetrate it so if you wanted to put a candle if you bought a big enough vase that would take maybe a, a tea light candle one of those LED tea light candles or one of those LED taper candles if the neck was big enough then you would get a nice kind of shimmer shine coming through it so I am going to finish off painting this and let it dry and then I will come back to you. My first one pound shop um, craft, then I will link it in the top corner, it'll pop out now. I've got this blue ready mixed paint which is basically just paint that the children use in schools and you know children craft with but it's actually not bad paint I think I I'm not it's not acrylic paint um, it doesn't actually say what type of paint it is I think it's water-based paint but it's um sky blue and using my same brush and in fact I'm going to probably use some more um, some more of the gesso because I want this one to be the blue to resemble this one but I'm going to give it the ombre look that that one has so I'm going to go heavier with the paint on its own using the stain brush because I don't mind if the white transfers And these little paint trays are stocked in my store. There'll be a link for that that will pop out now. I've also got some silver grey um, acrylic paint which I may use. So now I'm going to make my blue slightly lighter by introducing some of the white gesso. And I'm going to do that simply by transferring some from the pot with a, one of the paint brushes. These paint brushes are also stocked in the store. I see lots of, you know, my American um, crafters that I watch and they do a lot of Dollar Tree kind of, um, um, you know, hauls and tutorials and that type of thing. And I thought, you know what, what if my my uh, my British or my UK followers would like me to s like to see um, some pound store um, craft because we you know most of us have got pound stores now, you know, in our high streets. Um, so I thought maybe it would be something that you may like. If it is, you know, let me know below. Um, after all, this is a you know, it, you watch this channel for a reason. So I want to give you some, you know, some some you know, I want to give you what you want to watch. I know my American viewers enjoy seeing 
the items that we get in our in our one pound stores in comparison to theirs now as you can see it's lighter towards the top than it is the bottom so that is the ombre look and you know it is quite easily achievable if you um if you just make sure that you just add more white to the uh, to the color than you did before and I'm going to introduce a bit of the silver I think just a teeny weeny bit of the silver just to just to give it another color and I'm going to put that in as you saw in with the in with the gesso and the blue mix just want to introduce another color in this area the kind of in between blend so to speak I know it's probably difficult for you to see right, I'm gonna let that dry and then um, I'll come straight back to you okay crafters that's now dry now um, on this one I used um, photopolymer uh, or silicone stamps and as you can see some of the images aren't exact now the wider the space you have the better the image on the silicone or the poly polymer ones photopolymer on these ones i used um the soft spongy um stamps now the, this this these are from a tim holtz set i think it's called um from paris to london so i'm going to use the and you must use stays on if you want this to stay on um i'm going to attempt to use this union jack um, stamp from that stamp set and then what I do is I start on one side and I roll the bottle and the stamp and you seem to get a crisper image by doing that right now I'm going to use the gentleman with the top hat shall I use the gentleman or shall I use the guard well I think I'm going to use the guard I'm going to use the guard from that stamp set you get a much better image if you use these rubber ones because I think they because they because they're rubber they can you know you get a better impression right I'm going to attempt to use this one so I've done it from the bottom up there you go I'm sure you could you could emboss these if you wanted to um, I right, got this gorgeous um, Scottish rose which I'm also going to utilize We'll put that here or English rose okay it didn't quite go all the way across but that was the way I rolled it I have a crown let's utilize that as well just gonna put that on the side here okay let me try again I didn't quite get it on the bottom there Okay, there we go. And then what I did, um, I haven't done it with these ones because it, it has that texture on it. But what I did with this one, I then went over it with a coating of um, gloss Mod Podge. So if you don't want it to have the sheen, you could use the matte Mod Podge. And then on this one, I used uh, multiple charms that I stocked in my store, the ballerina, the little clothes hanger, the mask, the infinity, the Eiffel Tower, and made with love. And um, this one is going to my sister. Uh, she chose this one so it's got all the uh, parisian kind of themed charms on it with some um some strings some twine so you can decorate them as much as you like you can even just put pop in some of those battery operated led lights and and let that shine through but um i think it's really effective as long as you use your stays on and as long as you let the, you know let the paint dry properly and then maybe give it a coat just to safeguard it you know these could be something that you could have for many many years to come and they didn't cost me the, you know, 10, 12 pound that that shop was charging. The bottles were a pound and then everything else is from my stash. So if you're gonna endorse, in, you know, endorse it with a few charms, the charms in my store are very, very um, cheap. They're very well priced. So you're not going to break the bank by making these in compared to the prices that they were charging on the high street. Thank you very much for joining me. And I will see you very soon with another craft. Take care now. Bye-bye.